Did you know you can take AutoCAD drawings, so a .dxf or a .dwg, and then convert those in Visio to Visio shapes so you can manipulate as necessary? Where this comes in handy is in another video we talked about, if you bring in a picture of a diagram because you need to show how to rewire it, you can bring that in as a picture, you can assign it to a layer, lock it to the layer, and then you can overlay it with Visio shapes. All that takes time. So if the manufacturer doesn't have the Visio stencil, but they have an AutoCAD drawing that they're willing to let you use, if you get a copy of that, then you can convert it in Visio and then manipulate it. So for example, we're in Visio. I'm on my home tab up here. So I just go to the insert tab. So I'll click on that. I can hover over this CAD drawing. You can see there that tells you, you can insert a drawing in AutoCAD, DWG, or DXF file format. If you want to learn more, you can click on tell me more. I'm just going to left click. I'm going to go to my shapes. because this where I save my AutoCAD file that I want to bring in? And I'm going to bring that file in. Now, Visio is in the process of trying to convert this to Visio Shapes. It's going to give a pop-up window, and it's going to let you select some different settings before you let it come all the way in. So under the predefined section right here, so this predefined scale, I'm just going to leave that as one inch equals one inch. And under this CAD drawing protection, I'm going to unselect the box for lock size and position, and I'm going to uncheck the box for lock against deletion. I'm going to hit OK. Now this brings this in as one big group. And what I mean by that is if I left click, you can see that it selects all these images and I can drag this where I want. If I want to manipulate this, then what I have to do is I have to go to the home tab. I have to go to the group section here and ungroup that. Now, if I do that, this is going to take some time because there's a lot of pieces here. So I've already done that on this page. So if I go over to this page, you can see that that's the same drawing but I've already ungrouped all of it. So what that means is I can delete different sections of this. So what I want to do here is I want to get rid of this because I don't need this. So I'll just lasso over all that. Delete. I've already grouped this section. So what I did is I lassoed around it and then I went to group and grouped it. So now my circuit board's over here and I can delete all these other sections. So I can just lasso over that. It's going to select it, hit delete. Now I have this circuit board. If I need to bring other components in, then I can take my connectors, wire those components, so you can show to somebody how to wire this.